Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, just thank you for being there. You know, showing support when I truly needed it. You know, being patient with me when, you know, I took a break and just being there. So with that being said, I am truly grateful. And much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I would love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video, or you just stop telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and it gave you good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites as well. And as always, thank you so much for the love and support that you've been showing my videos as well as my channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And this beautiful me meditation music I'm listening to today, y'all, is so, like, peaceful and serene. And, like, I'm scared as I don't know what to go in the caves, like, underwater caves and stuff like that. I watch the movie Descent and stuff like that and the caves. So, you know, I just don't like that. But I love the, you know, the meditation that you get from the sounds of the water dripping and stuff like that. It's very peaceful. It's called uh, Healing Music, Zen Meditation, Calming relaxing soothing music cave stress relief water sounds now we'll post that link in the description box below and today in my video oh my goodness is about heyokas uh twin flame 101 heyokas seeing your life turn around y'all it's a beautiful feeling and i know a lot of y'all are on that journey where you're starting to see it or you know you're on that journey of really trying to see your life turning around and you're just not noticing all the signs around it but it's just like you know, like it is anything else that we do in life. If we concentrate, even though we have a lot of blessings coming into our lives, we, we can put those to a halt if we continue to concentrate on all the bad things that are happening in our life, all the misfortune that life has handed us. But when you, the beautiful energy that you can feel, like I place along my videos, it's just letting y'all know. It's just validation when we go do things. You know, the war is almost over. You know, we, we're, we're fighting a war that was meant to break us, the meant, meant to, you know, teach us so many things about life, about love, about self-respect, acknowledgement of, you know, just your gift. You know, it can, it can be very overwhelming and yet confusing. But then when you start seeing the clarity of the things that have been brought to your life as a blessing and not as, you know, so much as, you know, an eyesore or something that was negative. Even though it could have been negative, you can look at it as a positive reinforcement of things. Just, just to know that you survived it. You know, you're overcoming a lot of things. And, you know, and that knows you're, you know, you're stepping up, of evolving. You know, it's just like so many things are going through my head. Y'all, I'm talking through my higher self. So it seems like I'm out of my videos a little bit. It is because, I'm, you know, I meditated and asked to talk through my higher self. So it's just like when I, I'm able to look at things now, and it, it's just a beautiful feeling when you can be able to see things for how they are. And, you know, knowing things are coming, you know, becoming better, like you're, you're, you're out of troubled waters you might be still in the water but you're out of that troubled water that you know was bringing you down it was taking you down that current that you couldn't control the way you know you were floating you know what i'm saying like if you ever been white water rafting or you know you've been uh like one of those um slip and slide you know like you go to the water park and you know all these turns you have to go through you're bumping you might be sliding off you know be flipping and you know having fun or it might be scary at times because you might be scared of heights but you have went through that and it's just like when you have been able to get that strength you know practice makes perfect when you can be able to go back down that water slide and not have any hindrance not have any kind of you know like you're, you're you know you being kind of you know, offish about going down that, knowing you have to go down that water slide again through those fast currents. And when you're able to say, you know, I'm able to swim, even though a lot of people don't know how to swim, you know, when you can be able to stop fighting against the, the waves, but actually go with the current, 
you know, not fighting against anything because it's just a lot of us will go through things that I'm fault of that too of trying to control outcomes. You can't do that. You have to go with the flow. You can't force anything. I, I know there's a lot of things that I've been through in life that I've been trying to break my neck because I want so badly to go home. There was there was obstacles I was willing to go through, but universe had put those obstacles in my way to let me know, let me see how much she's willing to go for this, how much is she willing to, to sacrifice just to get to this, and I was willing to do all that, you know, and I'm slowly improving, while well, I'm fast improving on a lot of things, but there are certain things that, you know, it takes time to do, so it's just like, but when you, when you can actually sit up here and say, well, if this brings me down, or, oh, I'll get happy when this comes into my life, we have to learn how to be happy without things coming into our lives, we have to be able to do that, because life is always going to throw, you know, monkey wrenches in our program, life is going to hand us some, you know, shitty cards sometimes. So you can't wait for happiness to come to you. You have to be able to find it. You have to be able to see it in your life. Because it's just like I see them all the time. You know, I be hard on myself when, you know, I'll be talking to Joni. And Joni know what I'm talking about. Like, I can be hard on myself when I need to take a break. Because I say I'm just so tired. I'm so weird thin. You know, but I'm pushing out so much positivity. I love being tired from that. Because I know I'm doing something with my life that I'm putting in work. I'm putting in grind and a hustle for you know, that I want to be able to be the best I can be at doing what I do and knowing that I can get validations or knowing I'm able to bring positivity to somebody's life like that is a true blessing. And when you know and you're able to do that just for yourself, when you feel like, you know, there's times we have been put in predicaments. And I said this before, where we have been down talked to where we felt like we're not going to be better than what's being dealt to us. We can't, you know, because that if that's instilled into a person or instilled into a child, it will allow them to think that, you know, I'm not going to ever get out of this situation. I'm only going to be what, you know, what life handed me. Even though when you don't feel sorry for yourself, you don't place that victim card on yourself or that victim billboard, but just put a billboard on yourself to say, yeah, I went through this, but you know how much I've overcome. You know how many blessings I've got from this tragedy. When you can start seeing life like that and knowing, yeah, I was handed a shitty card, but look how much blessings I've got from that shitty card. Look at all the healing, you know, and the growth that I've got from that being dealt that, you know, and it's just like, I know life could have been a lot worse than it was, but, you know, I'm blessed that I actually had that strength and that courage to keep pushing, keep going, even when I was tired, I took that break, but I kept going, so when you can allow yourself to do that, you will see a lot of blessings come into your life, because that's when you're concentrating on something that is positive into your life, when you know that there, you know, you're heading out of troubled waters towards that light at the end of the tunnel through that silver lining you're finally seeing in the clouds that we doubted so much that was there it's been there you just had to be at that certain angle to be able to see it you know things have been put in our lives for us not to be able to see it because the devil knew what we, we were able to be what things we were going to be able to become that was going to defeat evil defeat negative energies you know negative forces we're able to do that so it's just like when you're able to do that see that see that in yourself see that into the situations that has been dealt to you see that you are able to turn your your life around through all the things that has been dealt to you knowing that you will reach your you know upper echelon or yourself you know the the happiness in life the blissfulness in life you know even though you know, you might be not in that situation where you would truly like to be, but knowing that you are heading that way, that, you know, that will of fortune is turning for you. And you can obviously see that in your life if you give yourself that chance. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. I ain't trying to pre preach today, y'all, but this is how I'm feeling. My higher self is speaking out, and, you know, we need to hear it. So, you know, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can, knowing that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. Knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I'm sending much love, infinite abundance to you. Much love. Uh, I said much love again. Sorry, y'all. Comforting vibes, healing vibes, loving vibes if you truly need them. Um, post notifications shout out goes to today let me see Anzo son Anzu son if that's how you say your name I'm sorry if I butchered your name um but much love to you sis I hope you're having a blessed week and prosperous week and you know have you have a great weekend so sounds much love and light and positivity as you possibly can make sure you do that even though if I say it two or three times because we truly need to do that 
Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And, you know, notify me and let me know, hey, I'm getting notified. So I can go ahead and give you a shout out on my video. And, you know, drop me a line. I love a chance to get to know you. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.